Here's another one that almost no one knows. Almost no one knows. Speaking. What does it do? It gets rid of the screen. Right? So you're presenting, and someone asks you a question, and you want to get off topic. Now, on this clicker, I can blank the screen. It just goes away. Let's deal with the question. Okay, we can deal with that. Okay, we're going to get back to it. Let me get back to it. Right? That way, you control the PowerPoint rather than the PowerPoint controlling you. So if you hit the B, B for boy key, it'll go black. If you hit the B for key, it'll come back. If you hit W, it'll go white. If you hit W again, it'll come back. Here's another tip. I got all my slides printed out, 16 up on the table here. You may have seen it. You may not have seen it. I know exactly where I am. Time-wise, I know where I am. For example, the Guy Kawasaki slide was slide 27. 27, enter. I'm right to Guy. How many times have you seen, so oh, oh, yeah, hang on just a second. I just got to, uh, OK, hang on, hang on, hang on. And you click, and you click, and you click, right? No, 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 no. If you know your slides, the Columbia slide is slide 32. 32, enter. I'm right to the Columbia slide. Where am I? The number and enter, and you go right there. If I want to go back to number one, one, enter, and I'm right back to the top. I happen to know the B key is 56. 56, enter. So I could go from slide one to slide 56. You would never know it. You'd think that was slide number two, and that's the point. There's no right way or wrong way to do it as long as the audience walks away with your core point embedded into their skulls. You've done your job. However you do it.